Welcome to Chiron Labs and today I'm going to show you how to modify lids. First we need a couple plastic lids that we can get from our local stores. High temp gasket sealer. Male lure joints. Couple switches. Couple female lure joints. A drill. Some 0.22 micron syringe filters. And then this is what the final product will look like on your jars. So we have one for grain, and we have another design for our liquid culture. We will be using a 1 8 drill bit as well as a 9 30 seconds drill bit. So first we're going to start off by opening up our lids. Next we're going to drill our 1 8 hole, and this will become our injection port. Next, we'll use our 9 30 seconds drill bit, and we're going to drill two holes, and we're kind of making a triangle formation on the back of our lids. Now, the reason why we are drilling on the back side is it is less likely to crack on us while we're drilling it. Let's go ahead and grab our syringe filters. This will be used as our gas exchange. Here is us dry fitting all of our parts together. So this is what it's going to look like when you do it. So next we have our female lure lock with a barb at the end and then we will connect a silicone tubing that we'll use to draw out our liquid culture. Before you pressure cook it's important to use a polypropylene fitting and to have that on and sealed before it goes into your pressure cooker. After you're done fresh cooking and you're in a sterile environment, you can go ahead and put your switch connector on there. Here is us dry fitting the hose. And now I'm going to put them side by side so you can see what you've done versus how it functions. We're going to go ahead and grab our high temp gasket sealer and we're going to put it on for real. So first we start by opening up the seal. Now we're going to put a nice ring of sealant right around our disc filter. We're going to put the lure end down. Got to kind of push it in, make sure it's on there nice and snug. There's no air gaps. And now we'll twist on our male lure lock. That's what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my female lure with the barb. And then that part is going to be used for collecting our liquid culture. Um, again, make sure you use polypropylene fittings on this. And for our injection port, we're just going to use some um, gasket sealer on the top and the bottom. That's it. Anyways, if you found this helpful, please share.